That section of an airplane wing that washed up on a French island in the Indian Ocean this week was flown to France today to determine if it is, as suspected, from the Malaysian airline jet that vanished last year. Jonathan Vigliani is on Reunion Island. Covered in barnacles, the wing fragment, called a flapperon, was wrapped and sealed, bound for France in the hope it may finally unlock the mystery of the missing airliner. Since the discovery was made here on the French island of Reunion, France will now take a leading role in the investigation, joining Malaysia and Australia. Island resident Johnny Begay found the wreckage. He also discovered a ripped suitcase, which was sent to France too. Reunion is famous for its black volcanic beaches, and today a volcano sent lava and smoke spewing in the air, slowing the search for other debris. The flapron helps keep the plane level when it starts to land. It's made from highly buoyant material filled with air pockets, which may explain why it was found some 2,300 miles away from the current search area. Australian teams are still combing through a vast swath of ocean where they believe the plane crashed. Transport Minister Warren Truss. Not having the opportunity for closure is certainly an enormous burden for the families and uh, we respect very much the difficult situations they're going through. Victims' families have endured over a year of agonizing waiting, false leads and frustration. Nora Leila Niga is the wife of the plane's chief steward. I don't want people to think that we're asking for sympathy. No, I'm, I'm not looking for that. And if they said they understand our feelings, but actually they don't. French aviation experts will begin examining the flap run next Wednesday. Scott, they'll be looking for clues from metal stress about what causes flap to break off and for traces of chemicals or explosives. Jonathan Vigliotti on Reunion Island for us this evening. John, thank you.